Hey guys, it's Kenzie, and today's a little bit different of a video. I, I've been wanting to share with you guys how I've been feeling about my channel and really just kind of discuss some of my personal feelings with you guys. Basically, um, as some of you may know, I, I mean, if you look back on my channel, I have been posting videos to this channel for almost two years, maybe a little bit over two years now, maybe three years, I don't know, around two to three years. and. This channel has been great for me, and I love making YouTube videos. I love posting videos and sharing them with you guys, but I've always felt this sense of my videos aren't always that great, and um, it's not necessarily because I'm not that great at editing or filming or anything like that. It's just the fact that it's videos that don't have quality to me, and while uh, fun videos like tag videos are fun to me, I also feel like they could be better. And um, I've always kind of pushed myself a little more than other people have. I never really think that what I do creative-wise is as great as I think of in my head. And that's a problem when it comes to YouTube because I find that a lot of the time when I film videos, they end up being very boring to me to watch. And if they're boring to me, the creator, then they're not very entertaining to you guys as the viewers. What I think of a lot of the time is how long I've been doing YouTube. As I said, this channel has been around for two to three years, but I have been on YouTube since I was 13 to 14. I have always been posting videos. Uh, I have different. I have had different accounts before this one. Uh, my very first account was one where I was very young and my mom would not allow me to show my face on the internet because I was very young and I was called the best book lover and I was a booktuber and that was so much fun for me as a booktuber to do this and I found myself really enjoying doing YouTube and that has been a part of my life for a very long time. I have always loved YouTube and you would think that loving YouTube like this would make me want to post more videos but it doesn't because I feel like my videos aren't adequate to what I really want to do. I have wanted this channel to be so many different things throughout my YouTube career. I wanted to be a vlogger for a while there and I really enjoy vlogging. I still enjoy vlogging but that's not exactly my brand. You know I'm an author tuber and a booktuber but I love vlogging and I love doing videos that aren't necessarily about booktube, books or writing, and I loved doing those, but I felt like it was betraying you guys in some way. I don't know why. I enjoyed those though, and I feel as if my vlogs that I have done in the past are very adequate. Like, I'm very happy with them, and I enjoy re-watching them. Uh, but I also really enjoy being more of like a mediator and a moderator to certain things. I really enjoyed, for instance, my interview with Jesse Elliott. I loved that process and I loved creating that interview and I really want to do more things like that. I really enjoy booktube as a whole. I really enjoy that. I do. But as a person, it is very difficult for me to think of doing things such as book hauls or book wrap-ups or writing tips and stuff because so many people do that and I don't want to be just another person in that mold of people. I want to be someone different and that is I think where I feel inadequate in the sense that how, why do I get to the right to give writing advice? You know, why? Uh, why am I writing, why am I doing booktube videos in the first place? You know, no one's watching them. And that is like what my brain thinks of as I'm filming videos. And as I post these videos, it's very irritating to me almost when I rewatch them and I'm like, this isn't what I wanted it to be. I don't know exactly what these changes are yet and I will keep you updated and hopefully you guys agree with a lot of the changes that I have come up with and that is the fact that I just want to do better content in general. I want to be what more well thought out videos. Um, I don't want to do things like five tips for this and stuff like that. I don't think that's helpful and I don't think that that is quality content, at least for my channel. I know a lot of people do those type of videos and they're great and I love watching them, but filming them, I just don't really care for it. I really want to do more videos that aren't necessarily about writing or books in general. Um, 
for instance, I am recently, um, in April, I'm going to be going to the Stanley Hotel and staying in room 217. And I really want to vlog that. And I don't want to feel bad that it's not writing related. I want to do more of a variety of content, which I have said before in my other update videos beforehand that I want to do a more variety of content. And I really mean it this time. I really mean that I need to start doing this. I look back on my old channels and I think I had so much passion for that channel. I had so much passion for the content that I was creating. Even if it wasn't that great of content, I had passion for it. And I don't have that same passion anymore and I want that passion back. And I have tasted that passion with my interview with Jesse Elliott, with my other videos, um, I don't even know what video, with my author tube tea video, like all these discussion videos and these really well thought out videos that I had to really put effort into my uh, camera decided it wanted to die, so yeah, anyway, back to the subject. Um, so I love YouTube and I never want to give up on YouTube, but I don't think I ever do. I've thought about it quite a lot on whether or not I want to continue YouTube. And I want to continue discussing things about writing and books and life. And I decided, yeah, I do. I want to discuss a lot of things in my life. And I want to have my channel grow with me. And that means making my channel more me now than it was me two years ago. I know that there is no uploading schedule. I will upload when I can and when I feel a video is worthwhile to upload. If I do not feel my video is adequate enough to upload, I will not be uploading it. I want to only give you guys the best content. And if that means waiting three weeks, then so be it. It's three weeks and then you get a good video. And I want quality over quantity in this case. Have you guys gone through anything like this where it's, you know, you some kind of like you're not putting out your best work anymore in your YouTube channel or whatever creative outlet you have. Uh, if so, let me know and we can discuss it down below. And if you guys have any video ideas or anything at all that might I may use or may not use in this channel, let me know down below as well. I love talking to you guys and I love hearing your opinions on things. I really enjoy it. Uh, I really enjoy discussing things with you guys. So I will see you guys next time and goodbye everyone. Goodbye.